I remember the very first time I heard coyotes. I was on a big road trip. I was in Kansas and they just went off after dark. I was in a tent. It was an amazing experience. But you know what? That was out west. The first time I heard coyotes here in Pennsylvania was only 10 years ago. You see, I was standing over by my garden and right at dark, all these coyotes went off. It was really special because I'd never seen or heard a coyote in Pennsylvania up to then. But things have changed. As a matter of fact, we have coyotes everywhere, all across North America. They've pretty much made it all the way coast to coast. And here's, here's what's interesting about coyotes. They are excellent hunters. They're really good. And these eastern coyotes are bigger than the western coyotes. And they do affect the deer population. And there's a lot of talk about that. Or well, are they gonna ruin our deer population? Well, we didn't really know what the effect was gonna be until just lately. You see, coyotes really aren't that big of a, a predation issue when it comes to adult deer. They do take adult deer, but it really doesn't affect the population much. But some new studies have shown that coyotes have really been able to make a effect in the fawn survival. Here's some of the data. Historically, like in the last 25, 30 years, we've had something like a 1.4 um, survival rate for fawns. That's a big recruitment rate. That means that, that a lot of these fawns are surviving and it's good for hunters because we had a surplus of deer because of that survival rate. So here's some of the new data coming in. Some of the research projects are showing that there may be as few as 0 .4, 0 0.4 fawns surviving out of a twin fawn birth. That's a whole new thing. As a matter of fact, if there's only 0 0.4 fawns surviving, that's gonna change the dynamic of the whitetails we hunt. Matter of fact, there's gonna be less whitetails in the woods. There was a recent study done by uh, Steve Demarius, and uh, he's out of University of uh, Mississippi, Mississippi State, and uh, Bob Zeglin out of Texas. And they radio collared a whole bunch of fawns, and they monitored them with graduate students right through the fawning period up to about two months. And here's what they found out. They found out that 62% of those radio collared fawns were taken by coyotes. Yeah, the whitetail dynamic, the predation, that we now have an apex predator walking around coast to coast targeting fawn whitetails. That's gonna change the way whitetail populations look in the US. That's this week in the Whitetail Woods. What's in your quiver?